Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition. There's some unfortunate uh, updates I have to give um, for whatever reason. So I, so I live streamed this next uh, like four hours, four or five hours of gameplay, right? And someone said, hey, the quality looks a little worse than normal. And I was like, I don't know why. I was like, that's crazy because like, I checked all my settings and they all said 1080. And I was like, yeah, my TV is not great that I'm using at the hotel but it surely can't be worse than 720. Turns out it's actually more like 480. I don't know what happened. It looks pretty bad though. Um, so I will be attempting damage control in that I will be ch attempting after this episode to just do like little tiny chunks of the next several hours <laughs> of gameplay to make it a lot shorter so that your eyeballs don't have to bleed. I am very sorry about this. I usually try to have at least decent video quality, if not, you know, pretty good. And this is this has actually been quite upsetting. And I've spent most of the morning just being upset about it and trying to figure it out. Um, but I did not have time to edit this one down to like, you know, just like little tiny bits. Um, so please deal with, uh, please not, not deal with it, please bear with it uh, as I try to deal with the issue. Um, we had a good time on the stream, so if you're here for laughs and, you know, just hanging out, it'll be good. But uh, if you're here for uh, top-notch 1080p, you know, gameplay, that's this isn't really the place for it, unfortunately. So, again, I'm really sorry. If you can if you can bear with it, I would appreciate it. I will be attempting, like I said, to make it so you don't have to watch too much of the next few hours with this sort of eyeball monstrosity. But... Here's a pro, I guess. I did buy a brand new monitor that I'll be getting today. So uh, I'll be using that in the future and hopefully that will help mitigate these problems and potentially get rid of them entirely if my input can match the output, etc., etc. Anyway, thank you all so much for listening to this intro. Uh, I will keep you updated and hopefully we won't have to see too much of this pixelated nonsense. So thank you again and the video will start in a moment. Mm -mm. Mm-hmm, deposits of sodium, scorching hot, blah, blah, blah. On approach to Notanban, Normandy's passive sensor ray intercepted a fragmentary coded transmission from the surface of Sulcrum. Attempts to decrypt the message were fruitless. It does not appear to be in any software coding language used by the Citadel races. Oh, snap. Too bad we don't have Legion. Oh, honestly, also, um, okay, shoot, what was it? I looked at this the other day. I think I still need the achievement for Garrus, and I need the stasis achievement, I need the, I think I still need a neural shock, and one other, oh, AI hacking. You quit your job? Nice! Literally the same day as the last stream, but it's okay, you have a new job soon? Good. Well, quitting, okay, so quitting can be good and bad, it's like sometimes you like quit because you like have no other choice. Um, but sometimes you quit because you're like, I have a better opportunity elsewhere. So there, you know. So I can't believe you quit on the same day as the last stream. Well, well, I hope this new job works out better for you. I'm just plodding away at my job currently. Although I am, I did get some training for archaeological monitoring last Friday, which was interesting. I've never monitored before. Oh, and you guys, it was actually so funny. Um, I met um, someone, like uh, my trainer, essentially. I was put with this, with a woman, you know, like to be my trainer. And, and then we get out, you know, I, I'm like being a shy little bump on the log, you know, not talking, being awkward. Not saying anything real, not like, you know, being polite, but like, you know, not being super great at conversation as per usual. Um, and, um, I, all of a sudden, she was like, I don't know, it was, it was actually in the office, not, not when we were getting into the buggy, um, but when we were in the, the office, she was like, Oh my gosh, she's like, I love your N7 sticker, because I had the N7 sticker on my helmet, you know? And she was like, that must be why so-and-so put us, because the person in charge of the monitor, she's like, that must be why she put us together, because we're all huge Mass Effect fans. And I was like, the day just got so much better. <laughs> you know, I was like, yay, I was so excited. 
It was so fun. We actually like spit like usually when you're monitoring you're by yourself. But like because she was training me, you know, we were like there, we were like in the same area the whole time. And we just like talked for like most of the day about Mass Effect. And also I did try to plug Dragon Age a little bit, you know, I was like, yeah, if you like Mass Effect, I think you'll really like Dragon Age. <laughs> She's like, I played a little bit of the first one, and I'm like, that's the problem. Not the, not the problem, you know, but I was like, you, like, you gotta do what what me and my friend Lemonzy did. Not that I said Lemonzy's name, because if you have a friend named Lemonzy in real life, probably, people probably think you're a little... You know, they're like, who names their child Lemonzy? I'm like, no, no, she's an online friend, <laughs> you know? Uh, but no, I said, me and my friend, we um, we, uh, we played out of order. We played Inquisition first. I'm trying to get that freaking rocket launcher in there. Where are you? How are you so protected in there? There you are. Oh, did it freeze? Oh, I was like, no. Anyway, it was a super fun day, and we talked all about Mass Effect, and, and it was super great. And I got to learn, like, like monitoring is, like, very not, not physically intense, um, but it is, like, stressful, I guess? I know, one of us. Uh, hopefully you start after your recovery from surgery, so eventful few weeks. I hope it's not an eventful few weeks. I hope you get plenty of bed rest and, and do whatever you need to, and drink hot chocolate and whatever you need to, to be better after surgery. Um, I sound so old. <laughs> I don't know about. I just sound like a dweeb is what I sound like. I'm like, I'm a little bump on a log, and then she's like, Mass Effect, and I was like, best friend! <laughs> New friend, buddy! <laughs> Hi! And then she actually, later, she sent me a picture, because she romance scares, because literally, she's like, she's like, oh, I love Mass Effect, you know, she said that, she said that whole thing about, like, we got probably put together, because uh, me and, and you and, and the woman who is in charge of everything, we really like Mass Effect, and, um, and... I was like, oh my gosh, that's great. I was like, I love Mass Effect so much. And then, like, I waited for a second, and I was like, is it okay if I ask you who you romanced? <laughs> like, I wasn't sure if that's a question you can ask in real life. <laughs> I only ever ask it of, like, online people, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, not face-to-face, -face. and plus we were, like, in the workplace, and I was like, I don't know if I should ask it, but I really want to, so I did. She was like, I romanced Liara in the first game, and I was like, okay, that's fair. And then she was like, and then she romanced Garrus for the next two games, and I was like, that's, yeah, that's fair. Um, I was like, I was, I always, I always, I always feel bad saying, I, I'm not bad, I always feel like really boring, I guess, saying I romanced Caden, because nobody likes him, so I'm always like, I always like preface it with like, I'm, I'm sorry, I romanced Caden. <laughs> And I shouldn't, sorry. I shouldn't say sorry, but I did. <laughs> um. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I can't, I don't know if I can reach any of them. Hopefully, oh no. I think that reached something. It looks like a dog. Okay, you just stay there. Oh my gosh, Tally's gonna get wrecked. There's like six snipers. <gasps> Why are there so many? Come back, 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 come back. I am the one catching you up. Did my cover just break? <gasps> my cover just broke. Yeah. 
I stopped standing and had a sniper. Also, <laughs> you can't destroy him. Just, like, <laughs> just standing there punching him. Oh my gosh. Come back, everybody. Make it deployed. They're just standing in the open. Look at them with their little doggy legs. Oh my gosh. You have no context for Mass Effect, but you're excited anyways. Thank you. Sur surgery. <laughs> Some of that said sugary. I'm like, sugary will be fine. You'll have British tea? Exactly. That's, that's the cure for all, all British ills. Uh, I can't do allergies. <laughs> I was trying to dodge. Uh, I'm scared. Anyway, I am near the end of the game, so context is probably few and far between me. Why is what? What is going on? Why is everything floating? Oh, that wasn't me. I didn't do that. I did. Did I do that? I might have done that. I am. Holy okay, maybe it's not a sniper. Maybe it's a. Maybe it's another guy. It's why the Americans had to dump it in the river that we did. We did have to do, we did, it was absolutely necessary that we do that. We don't want your imports. Oh my gosh, how many? have to wait for it to show itself and for me to have my biotics back oh I need to use AI hacking too now it's hacked you can't hurt me you're hacked sometimes it's so arbitrary on when you can hack I don't know or like when it works it's like oh it's hacked but it still shoots you as you, as the last death falls, you hear music from across the room. On the monitor, a quarant stands for a hushed crowd, warbling a mournful a cappella of world and innocence lost. The recorded song is dispatched to the geth worlds behind the Perseus veil. The transmitter shuts down. Oh my gosh, the setup! That is super important. Like, well, it's a clue, right? Like, it's not like, oh my gosh, the next game will quiz you on whether or not you did this or whether or not you remember it but it is an important clue if you're paying attention for the setup of the oops of the geth in or yeah of the geth in two <gasps> i got colossus armor for freaking garas oh my gosh i did just get um finally got different armor got this armor for him oh yes oh my gosh Finally, okay, it doesn't look so cool on him, but the Colossus armor is still the best armor. So, oh, Tally has it, and I have it. Perfect. Excellent. Speaking of Mass Effect space stuff, Dragon Age, what do I think about that one baby that fell from space in Origins? The, the Superman kid? The one that was picked up by the farmers who were like, wow, it's super strong. Discover a number of encrypted Geth data files in their proper hands. They could reveal much about the evolution of the Geth since the banishment of the Quarians. Here you go. Speak to Tally once we're back in the Normandy. Okay. Yep. So that's Tally's quest, which is kind of a secret, honestly. Because it doesn't, like, with, with Rex and, and Garrus, it pops up like, oh, hey, you have a mission for them. Whereas Tally just kind of says in passing, I sure do want to get something for my pilgrimage. 
and and something related to the Geth, and then like on a completely separate, I think it is. I don't. I don't think it triggers with Tally. I think it triggers for um. Like on its own, essentially. Like if you get like you get like a transmission or something. Oh wait, no. I want to go. Look at things. Maybe like ten or thirteen, same age as the old god baby. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It would actually be so funny if we had like a Superman alike in in Dragon Age. I actually might throw my computer. <laughs> if we, I'd be like, we have enough Superman. I don't care. I don't care about Superman. I don't like Batman either. I'm not a big DC fan. I like Wonder Woman, and that's it. I like Aquaman too. I don't like the main headliners. I don't. I don't really care for Superman or Batman. I think they're both. I don't know. Unable to do what they actually need to do to get the things done that they want to get done. Batman's like, I want to help protect. This is what I, re I get really mad at Batman. Superman, I'm less like, I don't really care. Like, Super Superman, I'm very mean. But Batman, I get angry at because he's like, I want to protect people and I want to be dark and brooding and, and everything while I do it. He's like, but I don't want to get my hands dirty, you know, and so uh, I'm not actually going to kill anybody. And it's like, I get it, right? I get it. Like, you don't, you know, want to be like a true vigilante or whatever, but you already are technically a vigilante. Um, and like, yeah, he doesn't want to get his hands dirty because he doesn't want to become that which is, that which he is not, right? Like, he doesn't want to become the villain. He doesn't want to, like, dispense justice, necess like, 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 he doesn't want to be an executioner, right? So I get that. But sometimes I get frustrated because I'm like, you could save more people if you stopped putting Joker in your ineffective prison system and just kill him. Like, every time he gets out, he hurts people. And so it just really... And then Batman's like, oh, how could this have happened? I'm like, every single time you put him in prison, he gets out. Like, it doesn't even matter, you know? Like, nothing you do matters. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Just, but maybe that's just me being really harsh, but I just find it somewhat frustrating. No. The Warden Sword Starfang, which you can get in Inquisition, which was interesting. Um, yeah, sorry for the superhero rant. Um, Starfang? You can get Warden Sword Star... Did you get that in the Empress? Oops. Um, do you get that in the Empress? Is that the one that is, like, your Warden's sword that you can make in Awakening? I know in Awakening you can make a really nice sword. And I don't think, I don't think it ever shows up again in the lore, but, like, at the end of Awakening, it's like, Hey, here's this cool lore. Your sword, you know, became this, like, emblem of you and, like, the cause behind it. Oh, and the armor that you, if you craft, like, the really good armor for your, um, legion, essentially, back at, um, Amaranth, no, back at your, at the keep, um, at the Amaranthine keep, you, th there's a legend that forms behind them, too, because of the armor. It's cool stuff. Currently in comic, Batman goes to put Joker in prison again, and Harley straight up shoots Joker, kind of being completely done with everything. Good. Harley deserves that. Harley does. Harley and Poison Ivy, they deserve that. Maybe that's what it needs to take, right? Like, having the villain kill the villains, you know? And so Batman can maintain his, like, gritty, if pristine, reputation. What is this? It's probably it's probably like nothing. It's a pain in the butt to get up here, and it's probably nothing. A sorry capsule. Oh man, we don't need another a sorry artifact. Yeah, we don't need one of those. But I got it. Just lead the way. Time to go talk to Tally. It's a main game thing with Warden's Keep, right? That sword? 
In, wait, no. In Origins or Inquisition? Yeah, yeah. I'm curious. If it's just like a cool thing that you find in Inquisition that's like a warden sword, like a warden sword, or if it is the cool sword that your warden makes in Awakening. I don't think I did on my last playthrough with Faramir. My male human noble. Cause uh, I was like, I wanna, time to go. It's time to go. <laughs> oh, also, I don't think I mentioned this. I think I, I, think I like, interrupted myself earlier, but um, for YouTube anyway, you, I'm sure you people watching right now maybe don't aren't worried about it too much, but I will not be playing Bring Down the Sky DLC for this game because I just really desperately want to get on a Mass Effect 2. And Bring Down the Sky didn't really have anything I wanted except the Kanari Colossus armor, and I already have it for her. So, <laughs> uh, I'm just, uh, it doesn't really offer much plot-wise as far as I remember. So, I'm sure there's plenty of videos online that have it. I'm gonna just hop into Mass Effect 2 and go meet my lizard husband. We're fugitives on the run. Very exciting, Shepard. I wonder what the council would do to us. Oh, we have caught. some. Do we actually have some dialogue? Because Kane didn't have dialogue from when we ran away. Your father probably has some political pull, right? He wouldn't let them throw his. She misunderstands. <laughs> you don't yes. Know my father. Stealing ships is a capital offense among my people. He'd probably want to execute. <laughs> I was like, himself. I don't think Shepard understands their relationship despite Tally exp explaining it in excruciating detail. The Normandy's the best ship in the fleet. They'll never catch us. I hope you're right. Uh, Geth? No. I want to know more about Geth. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. All I know is the story of their uh, origins. Shame. We already what talked about that. I want to talk about something else. Like what? I want to know more about the uh -huh. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to captain. It's not the best way to make a good I wonder if it got if the dialogue got Most superseded actually. Until they find something worthwhile. I want to talk about something else. Like what? I should go. Hmm. See you later. I wonder if the dialogue was superseded by the dialogue about, um, about us taking the ship and running. Yes. Shepherd, okay, here positive. we go, here we go. It's important. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our effort to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our homeworld. I think this gets a little aggressive, but I'll, I'll do it, but it's, it's a little unnecessary, I think. If I give you this data, your pilgrimage is over. You'll go back to your own people. Not right away. I'll stay with you as long as it takes to stop Seren. But my people need this. You think you can use this information to destroy your enemy? Not right away. We will need to study it. It could take years. But it will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Go ahead. Make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt. One I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saren and his Geth armies are defeated. I never wanted anything more. <laughs> my friend! She my friend. <laughs> Yay. I don't know, I don't remember how it handles it if you don't do that. Because regardless, she goes back to her people after the pilgrimage. I think she ends up, she must salvage something from the Geth. I can't remember. I feel like the very first time I played, I didn't do it. 
because but I don't know like I, I'm a pretty I'm a pretty big completionist so I'm not sure but I feel like there was one time I didn't do it and I don't know how that turned out wait oh yeah okay okay now <laughs> Okay, we're actually way closer than I thought we were going to be. Um, but now I have to run around looking for valuable minerals, which is... J and medallions and the glass couple tree and insignias, which is just going to be a hoot and good time. And that's why we're here. Let's go chat with people really quick. I can't believe I know. you spilled the Normandy. After everything you told me, it seems a bit... It's so long. Stealing the Normandy is a trivial risk compared to the threat of Saren. Yeah. Garrus is like, I'm getting whiplash. If you're wrong, we'll pay for it. But if you're right and we did nothing, I think we'd regret it a whole lot more. I just hope we can catch Saren. No, they know we're missing, like, right out the gate. Like, <laughs> it's only, it's only by the skin of our teeth that we're ahead of everything. Uh, but yeah, no, Garrus is like, you told me to follow the rules and now you're breaking them? I don't understand. Relax. We'll catch him. Just be ready when we do. Yes, command. Uh, they took out, I thought they might have put it down here, but I think they completely took out Rex, Garrus, okay, so that, that was Ashley's. They completely took out Shepard, like I was saying a long time ago, when, in an episode I edited recently, that Shepard's used to be up there, but like, nobody ever uses it as Shepard, because all you gotta do is go into here, to your equipment screen, so they must have just removed it. Stealing an Alliance ship? Risky stuff. But I'm right behind you, Shepard. It's the least I can do. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy. Sometimes crazy is the best way to go. I just hope they don't catch us before we get our hands on Saren. You and me both. You'll get us through, Shepard. See, that's all I needed to hear. It wasn't that hard. Rex did it without Shepherd. without making a big deal out of it. Caden's like, I'm gonna just have to be talked into it. Blah, blah, blah. This will all be over soon, Shepard. One way or another. I just don't get the appeal. Like, I don't know, when my, my new best friend that I met, uh, who was like, I romance Liara, and I was like, I'd ra I think at this point in my life, I'd rather romance Ashley. I just, at least she's got some spark to her. Liara is just, my expectations were too high, I think. And with that, we'll cut it off there. Thank you if you got to the end of this. I really appreciate it. I'm so sorry again for the pixelated quality. I will do my best to edit. That's what I'll be doing right after this video goes up, is editing more so you don't have to see so much of it. Um, but I wanted to give a quick shout out to my patrons, and I actually wanted to give an extra special shout out to my patrons because it is due in part, in large part, to their you know help and donations and stuff that I'm gonna be able to afford this new monitor that will help me make better videos, is the hope anyway. Um, so thank you guys so much, all of you, um, to every single patron, but to especially my sapling patrons who are Rescalito. Thank you so much for your help in helping me buy this new monitor. And thank you, Scalamonger, who I also want to say thank you so much for helping me buy the new monitor. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is a tree tier patron and who has been really supportive and really just like all has the super nicest comments and is also helping me buy this new monitor. Um, little did you guys know <laughs> that you were helping me with that, but mostly I wanted to use the patron stuff to either, you know, help me be able to play video games during the year. Um, at various like hotels and stuff throughout the year when I was being homeless, but since I'm living in a hotel like and work is paying for it right now. Um, I, I'm glad to be able to use these funds to be able to actually buy things to help me make better videos, which is kind of the whole point of a Patreon for, for a YouTube person. So um, thank you guys again so much to all of you. I really appreciate your help 
like immensely you don't even know so thank you again and uh i hope to see you all in the next one